I'm Jane Lythel and I want to welcome you to my room where I write. Um, I think I'm extremely lucky to have this lovely big room to write in and um, I'm going to take you around it and tell you a little bit about it. I've written two novels. Uh, the first one was The Lie of You and that's been described as a psychological thriller followed by After the Storm, which I think of as more as an adventure thriller with a strong psychological component to it. And they're both published by Head of Zeus. And um, this is where I write. Now, the thing you might notice straight away, looking at my workroom, is there's no chair. And this is because I write standing up. I discovered this about two years ago, and it was an absolute revelation. Uh, I love being able to stand up because I can pace up and down. If I have a particularly difficult scene, it helps me. It helps me think through, I, you know, especially if I'm reading, I'm talking out loud, talking through the characters. Standing up really has helped me. And in fact, lots of people used to work standing up. Now, you can see that I've rigged up a rather primitive Heath Robinson set up here. I bought a pair of, uh, uh, like, a wooden tray on legs which I put on top of my desk, and then that still wasn't high enough. So I put lots of folders and books just to get my laptop to this just right, to get it up to the right height. And I stand and work. And I have a view out of the window onto our garden, which is nice. And then here I have some, on the walls, I have things that mean stuff to me. I have some cartoons from my time at BAFTA. I worked there. It wasn't a happy time, actually, but I like that cartoon. And then some family photographs. This is my daughter um, when she was little. And I keep quite a few photographs near, which inspire me. And books. Books are obviously terribly important to me. And this bookshelf here has the books that I love most. When I moved, I weeded out hundreds of books. I gave so many books away to charity shops. But I had to keep these books. So these books in this black bookshelf mean... They were books I couldn't live without. They meant such a lot to me. And in fact, quite a lot of them are poetry and some favourite novels. I've always been interested in what how the human mind works. And you'll see that I've actually got quite a few books by Freud. I've read a lot of Freud and this is one of the things that I think drives my fiction because I want to know what is it, what is it that makes people do extreme things? What is it that tips characters over the edge? And that is something that I, that I do talk about both in The, the Lie of You um, where there is a character that does slip into obsession and also to some extent in After the Storm there's a character that has a terrible secret that is destroying him and affecting the way he lives his life. Um, so the, the way that you know, our minds work has been a, a source of tremendous interest to me. But I couldn't let you leave my room without showing you something else I'm very fond of, which is cowboys. I love this photograph of real cowboys and I love my China cowboy, and I'm also very proud. A friend, knowing my penchant, bought me this Fess Parker Daniel Boone lunchbox, which I think is rather fantastic. And I also have my own little lead cowboy there. I don't think I could write a western, but I love western films, and I do find the whole cowboy thing very interesting. Anyway, I hope you've seen this, seeing my room without the chair has given you a little bit of an insight into how I work.